garden design, pathway, plants, people, uh, lots of things to think about when you're talking about how to design and install your permaculture garden. And here we are on the homeowner Nancy, on Nancy's property. and. Uh, Nick is here helping, and Natalie and the kiddos just showed up to help and open. There's Lucy the dog, and <clears throat> so here we are. We're 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 finishing the garden bed portion of this mandala garden in the backyard. It's beautiful. It's lovely, but <clears throat> one of the things that I forget sometimes, and it's easy to forget, is well here look. So these are the Bermuda grass, which was taken out, and it has lots of rocks in it and whatnot so as we were designing this and putting it in where do you put this was this not in the design and chances are it's not because it's a temporary thing here but in the install plan which is way overlooked most of the time this is not even thought through where do you put this now this will eventually get put back in, the soil will, once we kill all the grasses and make sure there's no seeds lying dormant in there. Now, so another thing that's often not thought about, and especially in an area like this where it's a suburban yard. So thanks Nick. So where I'm walking here is the side of this suburban house. So we're in Anna, Texas, and we've got some big trucks here so it might get pretty, pretty noisy. But we, there, it's HOA city. Here, look, take, take a look. Brand new housing. To, all right, houses still going up. HOA dictates what happens to the trees. They are not going to be happy if we bring this. Uh, today, it's just, just, just six yards. We had 11 yards of mulch the other day. Six yards of this nice compost, putting it right here or on the street. That's just not going to fly with the HOA. So having to think through the install, how am I going to get this through this back gate? And especially if the gate's not big enough for something like a skid steer and we have to do it manually. Now the solution on this particular job is, is the wheelbarrow and we just do it from the street and the garden's not so big we could manage it in a few days. But it may be a deal where you couldn't have done this. You needed a small front end loader or a skid steer to rent. These are just typical challenges of install and it's part of the project management uh, thought processes in permaculture when it comes to actually doing install. So you want to think those through and <clears throat> where you get that information is, is either by doing it or asking people who have done it because you can get easily caught into a situation that you're just not planning for and then you have a major bottleneck like not being able to move your material into the location it needs to. So if you like this information, subscribe, like the video, share it. Uh, bless you in the name of Jesus. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.